The mission statement says it very clearly. The Plainfield Fire Division is an emergency service organization that is committed to defending life and property in the city of Plainfield. And we do that with the obligation of providing the citizens with public fire education, fire prevention, fire investigation, fire extinguishment, and fire confinement. My name is Frank Titwell. I'm the fire chief here in the city of Plainfield. I believe that in order to perform good, you must love much. Because when you love much, you perform much. Uh, we're gonna take a walk over and see how these new guys are doing. Hit the first cone. Right. Flow when you go to the second cone. All right, now. Together, let's go. Let's go. Come on, you got it, you got it. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, right behind us. Let's go, right behind us. Cone, man, be cold. Yeah. All right. Today's drill is going to be on the bandsaw. You're going to love it. Let the tool do it. Let the tool do it. Don't force it. It does its cuts with basically minimal vibration. So if you have an instance where someone might be impaled with something and you need to sort of remove them from the object, the bandsaw is going to be a good tool for that. I'm Lieutenant Selkett Damon, and I'm an engine company officer at Four Engine Station in Blankville, New Jersey. Being the first female firefighter and officer on the department, I didn't really look at it as being a big deal. Seeing someone that looks like you doing a particular job kind of lets you know that it's something that you can do. To get somebody, let's say, from a window onto here, we'd open up the door, and then we would help bring them in. We're not gonna be touching the window or the building, but we're gonna get as close as possible so they can step right on it. Operating this, you gotta watch out for power lines and all that, I didn't even talk about that. This is a great career. Not for everybody, no. and I'll be the first one to admit that. Even after being here 31 years, it, it's still a frightful thing to, to go inside a uh, burning building. It's not an easy thing to do. You know, we get this big rush when the, when the alarm goes off. Our heart gets pumping when we hear that there's potential victims, people are potentially trapped, you know, that we, we're going to really have to perform now that these people don't have a chance to survive. We don't care if we lose a building. We just don't want to lose people. Like I said, it's life and death. The first responders for a reason. We're first responding to a bad situation. That's what it is. Police, fire, EMS. We're here to put our lives on the lines for you. You try to tell them, but you don't. Yeah. That's one of the things you can't tell somebody. It's, it's, you you got to live through it. You got to get, you know. And somebody can have all the confidence and, and be brave. Until when that fire over top get, of your head, and you feel that heat. There. Yes. You, you take it for granted that you're going to come home every day. Yes. Yeah. We call it EGH. Everyone goes home. That's the thing we want to thrive on. We try to encourage our firefighters to be brave, but we're not looking for unnecessary heroes. That culture is, is a bond that makes us a brotherhood because we learn to trust the man in front of us or the woman behind us. We train together, we eat, we work long hours together. And the fact that every time that bell hits, the alarm goes off, there's no guarantee that we may come back but we learn to trust one another so that that next man can depend on the decisions I make, the actions I take, and that if I go down into the pit, he's holding the rope for me to make sure I come back out. We it's have been very committed to make sure we provide them with the best equipment. What we do is here, we try to maintain our trucks, and make sure everything is in good working condition, just in case emergency comes, we're on top of things. We have the best equipment out here. Do you need any paper clips or staples? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I know what it's Just so you know, man. When our squad rolls, they have a specialized rescue function. So that can include anything from car accidents to removal of people that got stuck on a roof, any number of things. This, this to me, is the greatest uh, career a person can choose because it allows you to serve and protect as well as give back to your community. This is probably the only profession that um, nobody dislikes you because every time you come, you're coming to help. I've been working with these guys for a while now. 19 years, love every part of it. My father did it. My father retired fireman. My uncle, a few of my cousins. 
You know, I guess it's a family tradition at this point. If you have a passion to serve and do something exciting that's different every day, then firefighting is definitely a wonderful career profession. And I love it. I love it. My job is awesome.